Hello everyone, welcome to the second round of the Stanley Cup Playoffs of NHL 23 on EA Sports. I'm Son of Beast and this is where we all start for the next round. Game 1, round 1's of the games has been complete. Now we are down to the final four teams in between the, uh, in between the two parts of the, the Eastern and Western Conference. That means the Elite 8 teams before the final four teams of the game. As we're being right now, this is where we are come down to this one. The semifinals means means that this is where the uh, the the Metropolitan Division has turned out to be very uh, tough. And the Atlantic Division is where the finals happens here. This is the Atlantic Finals. But on the other side we have is the Pacific Finals. And on the other side of it we have is the Central Finals and finally the Metropolitan Finals. So, we'll start with this one first, as we see the Bolts battling against the Boston Bruins, and they have definitely been playing it before since 2019 of the Conference Finals in NHL 2019. Yep, that's right, we definitely did notice that the Bruins did beat the Bolts, but now they're ready to do it again. And will they have another uh, goal to get an opportunity range? We'll find out what happens. Let's start off with this one here first. Now the matchup is being said here for the Tampa Bay Bulls. For the Boston Bruins, we have this David Pashtunas. He has an Ely puck settling for the snipe. He does that when it's on his own. They try to make it harder and try to snipe it in to make that goal count. Brad Marchand has a make it snappy ability, putting an Ely snapshot in the stride. He can try to put a slap shot to put a snap in the wrist of it from the from the stride. It's very that well to make it make it clear and then try to lift it up from, from the angle. Linus Allmark has an X-ray vision for the Elite Vision, putting a lot of saves in the game here with a bunch of pat saves in between. It's not what everybody really say, but Linus Allmark, that's for him that he gets. And Charlie McAvoy has a stick him up on a defensive set. He can try to make a stick lift and put it right towards in. That is a good uh, strategy for the Boston Bruins if they can go for another win. Now, on the other side, we have the Tampa Bay Bolts. Starting off with Steven Stamkos. He has a 1T Ely one-timer of the game that he can try to make it clear. It's a good one to try to keep him going here after over 500 goals in the game. That's a crazy game here in every season that he has done. And, for the next one, Victor Hedman also does the same thing too. He also has an elite defensive stick, and he can definitely make a stick lift. That's pretty authentic too. For Andrei Vasilevsky, he has a, a contranist. That's going to be a, one of the uh, players that's going to be a very challenging to take over it. Then Linus Allmark, because this is a very tough offense that everyone was thinking. How, will, how well will Andre Vasilevsky do for the next round? Well, let's find out how it does. And Nikita Kucherov is make it snappy. Every time it's the same thing goes with Brad Marchand. Alright, it's time to send you down to, to the, uh, the TD Garden Arena. That's enough for the uh, lineups. Let's get into the game. Me Phone and Lifebringer are standing by. And the center ice will be OJ. I'll be back with the post game show after the games are complete. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the first game of the second round of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Hello everyone, Meat Phone here along with Life Ray. This is the NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs. The second round begins at TD Garden. Well, it's about that time. The first game is on. The puck is set and we are underway. Here the courtesy lineups are being starting as followed. We have his Orlov. Then we have his Braden Point on the other side of it though. Then we have his Headman right towards the defenseman. Then we have his Killorn on the other side. Brad Marchand right towards the other way. Charlie McAvoy towards the left. Then across from here we have his Taylor Hall. Then we have, have his, have his Pastodox on the other side, and Bergeron's on the other hand. The starting goaltender will be the Linus Allmark. Linus Allmark was definitely one of the better, biggest saves here in the game. He is very tough in an offense run. 
We all got calls for. The better of this game in the this drive has turned out to be one of the saviors of the game. He turned out great. And for every regular season, he knows that he definitely had all the provision to make that one clear. Puck is about to be set as we're about to get the face-off ready. So Raleigh wins the face-off. Hogeshawn shot goes wide and out of zone. Edmund will grab the puck here all the way down to the end. And on the other side, we have Andre Vesilevsky. Andre Vesilevsky was definitely the, one of the best goaltenders in the boats all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals to play against the Colorado Avalanche last season of the postseason. But this time, he, their team has already been knocked out with a loss. So we all say that Andre Vesilevsky, hoping to return next season with the Bolts, and with that one for the real game, after a defeating loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs, it will be coming in, but as all you could say, they are tough one. Yeah, it's pretty sad that Andre Vesilevsky, he was one of the biggest players of the man that was able to play wild stage this game. He knows that for sure. And because of that one, they're really into a better offense to try to pick up their strength. Because it is a very hard one that he must do to stay on task. Boston has the puck here right into the Tampa Bay zone. Chaco's off target as Pogoshan takes it over. Here's Nick Paul, he's on the left wing. Frederick's got the puck here right around in his wing in the zone. Right to Coyle. 2 0 1 offensive attack. Right to Bernersee. Returns his shot. Stopped by Veselevsky with the glove save. We'll hold him with under 16 minutes to go in the first period. With the call of Andre Veselevsky, he's got a wild save at this point. With Veselevsky's vision, he has a lot of cross with the wild saves earlier of the game. He is putting on much more attacking of his rhythm. He's doing really well with other games here since he knows he was on the street. But if the other goalies, it could be hard one. I'll be watching Andre Vasilevsky with the wild saves. Back to you, Repo. Here's Greer right towards this neutral saves off zone. He's in the way now, finds half away. Shot stop and a bad save here by Andre Vasilevsky. Greer in the corner. Going for the loose puck on the wall. Nozek has the puck. In the middle! That's Nozak still out of here in control, but still holds on. Puck leaves the zone. Now it's forward. Right to Halfaway. Halfaway trying to find more room. Pass the career shot. That goes tip wide, right towards the wall. Easy to say. You can't just let that play go in offense that's wide angle. That's the most of it nobody is really going to get into. That's very hard for trying to pick up the offense run. Try to fix it up. Here's Forbert. Now back to DeBrus. DeBrus passing the neutral zone in the offense zone. Marcher shot. That is blocked away. Rebound puck. Stop the pass by Veselevsky. Sergeyev right towards the middle. That one to the offense zone. Two on one the attack. Sergeyev to Perry. That shot goes wide up on the off the defender. Olafs has a repuck inbound. Bergeron in the right corner. Oh, he just couldn't get a goal. It goes up in an inning and out of play. With just under, like now under 13 minutes to go, it's still scoreless. Now Cernax will have the puck carried out here after the faceoff win. Here's Cole. Cole. Dishing off again to Hagel. Back to Cernax. Over to Sorelli. Puck taken away here by David Pashadox. Right to Zacha. Zacha looking for room. Trying to shoot one. Good stop here by Andrei Vasilevsky. Zacha. Puck is taken away as Stamkos has to recover. Stamkos. One on one attacker. Murabi scores. That's 511 goals for Steven Stamkos. And it's a first wild start for the Bolts to start with. I know that Steven Stamkos was out there. Better than he was playing here before after the last game against the wing of Toronto Maple Leafs. He was really well to keep that offense alive. 
but it's not really that hard when you're going to try to keep that pressure alive to put it right around the deck. It's very that tough to say that Steven Stamkos got a good heavy attacker. Edmund getting a little bump over here. Here's Percy. Perfect shot. It's stopped again on the defender and on the goaltender. So Riley recovers the puck here. With 10.35 left to go. Here's Stamkos and a good stop A by Linus Omar. He'll hold the puck with carrying with under 10.30 to go in the first period. Both players are set. They're ready to drop the puck here for the faceoff. Now it's Paterzi with the win. There's McAvoy over to DeBrusk. Over to Marchand. Finding some space here. DeBrusk shot. Stop made by Vasilevsky. Looks like he was able to do a clear patching all day. But it might be just a one way to get that one to get out of brick by brick with a stop save. Here's Killor. Pass to Headman on the outside back to Pogashan. Pogashan moves in. Stop here by Linus Omar. McAvoy has got it down right across his zone. Bumps down in a neutral face-off zone. Gillard broken up. DeBrus breathes over to Orlov over to McAvoy. McAvoy into the wing. Recovering the puck here by Bogashan. Kucherov over to Hedman. Now finds Maroon. Maroon's in his zone in the Bruins territory. Stop made by Linus Olmark. Linus Olmark was definitely putting us saves here. Not for Steven Samkos because that got him a little out of the way. Crunchy lost control as Furbix will try to take it over. And we got a delay penalty coming up for the Boston Bruins. As right now the man in the goaltender is empty with the shot and they do not need it with the power play. It's Maroon, his first goal in round two, made that goal after Hyman and Furbix assist. Easy to clear when that one gives off a good pass to Patrick Maroon. He brought it around a man. He has a lot of vision to try to go right towards the goaltender, and when he gets there around, he just found an open net. He found it way open. Not the tough one that everybody was looking for, but that was a tough one, and he's staying on. I'll be watching him for the next part of the game in the period. During the closer to the mark, passing the midway period, Tampa Bay on a start run for a 2-0 lead. Here's Carlo. We'll have the puck right over to Lindholm. He swings off to Paterzi. Paterzi fires the puck around the net. Sergeyev's got the puck here right across his own. Sorelli has the puck and another delay penalty call. Oh, uh, this is not good because there's somebody else out there that they could try to, like, take it over. This is not good for the Bruins to start off in the first period. There will be a holding call here for, for Frederick as right now he's in the penalty box. Power plays on for the Tampa Bay Bolts for the start in game one. With the barrel displaying. Nikita Kucherov has a lot of his own to try to help him out. He makes it snappy right towards the defender. With the hard one at risk, he can try to pull it right towards the shot and try to stop him bounding. And on the other side of David Postinox, he has a snipe ability to try to take over with the goaltenders right towards the other way. This is a hard pack for posting and make that clear. Steven Stemkos has a one-time tee to make that one interesting, to make that play stop. When he gets it over to the player on the offense, he gives it off to the run and tries to stop the puck right in bounding. The three players are definitely in the vision. I'll be watching one of each and we will see who will get the next goal in for the power play of the Tampa Bay Bolts. Back to you guys. Now it's Bergeron with the win. Marchand lost the puck. Bergeron recovers it. Going for a short-handed goal. But Hedman takes it over, back to Colton. Tampa Bay back in the offside, onside here in the Bruins territory. Colton, what a great stop made by Elias Almar. Hedman shot, stop the pass save. Harry, oh, that shot was too off target. That target of this movie cannot be denied, Paul. How that painful is, they just did not want to see what's going on. 
Here's Sedman towards right down back to Perry. Five Perry left to play in the first period of the game. 44 seconds left to play for the, for the Bolts power play. Fogorak will clear the ice zone. Stamkos will have it on the other way. Edmund has to cut. Deep pass to Paul. Paul oh, on a one on one to Stamkos. Shot. Oh, what a great save by Lita Soma. He will hold the puck here with under five minutes to go in the first period. Keeping the puck here alive as right now it's still a 2 0 run for the Bolts. Point wins the face off. Kucherov shot. Stop by Alina Solmar. He's out with out, ready to go. Power plays over for the Bolts. And right now they're back to an even strike. They're very good in the offense. They do not want to say that this last part of the game, that it was Maroon that made it win a goal. He was really well to keep that one out of here. But no longer offense, they weren't able to make that one stoppable. They just really can't say that they were very that good. All I can say is now, they are just trying to get rid of it to attack it. Allmark will try to cover the puck up here with under four minutes to go in the first period. Both players are ready to get set here on ice. They're about to drop the puck. Sorelli wins the face off. Here's Furbix, chop blocked. Zacha has the puck here now into the offense zone. On a one on one attack. Pass the pass to Knox. Lost the puck and Sorelli takes it over. And he'll give it off to Sorbichad. Sorelli back the arrow away. Passing into the neutral zone, the offense zone. Forward it. Will turn it out of recovery. Gretchy. Entering the zone. Shoots. Stopped again by Andre Vasilevsky. Furbix will try to recover it back over to Hagel. Hagel over to Furbix. Furbix over to Sorelli. Now into the offense zone to try to pick up their run. Hagel. Deep pass to Stamkos. Scoop up along the board by Ola. Ostrodox will try to carry over on the other side. Gets pumped out. The Bolts have their zone in back to the Bruins territory. Boston has got the puck here, now passing to the neutral zone. To Nozick. Oh, make the shot! But it did stop and deny by Veselevsky. He's just putting up a heavy run. Just how clear it is. Andre Veselevsky was putting a wild big saves. Not very everyone else can, but you know, this may not be the one that everyone was going to count for. Orlov's got the puck, goes down. Kucherov and shot wet, tipped wide. Nozick has the puck, and a delay penalty called for Tampa Bay. Score! Not this time. No power play goals. They just want to get the goal to get on the board. Pretty excellent run here as Garnet Hathaway was putting up a squeeze in around Veselevsky. That was a great puck and successful. I know that was very that true, but don't get me wrong, they're, they're really a tough team and you know that. This is like an Atlantic Coast division and are putting up a hard ones to play, play for them here. We're under a minute to play in the first period and it's a 2-1 game. Colton with the puck, moving around the man. Colton has the puck, now back to Bogashan. Right to Colton. Nozick's got the puck here right into the neutral zone. Ooh, bam down. Evan towards the middle. Finds Paul. Fires! And stopped the pass save by Lita Solmar. Gets pumped up. Greer's got the puck. And that will end the first period. Good start here for the Tampa Bay Bolts, but not for Pasternak as made. As this one, Hathaway has got a very good stop. Two to one is your score. We'll be right back after this. Hey everybody, it's your boy Son of Beast here. And just a quick reminder that all the tickets here for the Ger Gerald W. Lynch Theater has already been sold out for the new location here for, for this year of the BFDI and the Nightmare Insanity Meetup of the experience for the show. So that A means no ticket selections will be there anymore. And for that one, if you're in a Los Angeles town, we still got some tickets left here. So if you want to go stop and buy, go ahead and get your, uh, get your tickets now online. 
at animesandy.com slash tickets. You can be the next one here, and also, don't forget that we they got to be the first one here, you will receive a two plushie. Hmm. I think your kids will love it here too, if you, if you can play with that one here. So I, so can I. <laughs> well, back then, as like, for Sonic Guy, I used to have plushies, but I don't know if I might be able to use it or not, but um, probably you understand that. And with that being said, we are selecting for the new teams to be matching up here for the next season of NHL 24. So, your job, guys, you can make your selection and find your teams which one you want to see them face against. Like this game, the Bolts and the Boston Bruins, they are the tough ones to be matched. That is a great matchup in the Atlantic Division. But as we're all being said, if you want, if you have a selection here for the team matchups, Leave a self standard answers in the comment box below. We still have the casting your votes here for Season 3 of the NHL 24. And last but not least, the, the deal is underway, so it will be out here as soon as you know it, after I finish the editing, and of course, the, and of course, the final scene of how this will turn out. So for that one, keep your eyes tuned here, as I will do the deal's new episode. And then, catching you on here for the playoffs of the game. And especially the finals as well. Anyway, time to get back into the game. Back to you, Mephone. Period number two, about to begin here at Boston. Buck is dropped and we are ready to go. With the courtesy of this one of the first period of statistics, here's how they did. You like Ray. Well, in just in that case, it just really has turned out it was a lot of a hard working credits in the run. We know that before, it was very that difficult. With the start of the Bolts, they've already have gotten a lot of plays here in the game. They definitely got a goal, they maintain their way. And with that one, Boston Brewers have definitely got a little delayed penalty, but they have never gotten in control here with the power play for the Bolts. At that moment, they really seem to be getting a lot of points out there. They're just getting a lot of points in the passes. They're doing a lot of aggressive in this team. Hopefully by then, they'll keep it going. Power play goes on for the Boston Bruins as Zach Bogashan's in the penalty box. Blocked away. It's Prashinov's Chuck scores! And ties the game! The first time in the first game in the second round. They're all happy enough. David Pasternak able to do it again. Well, I got a good replay for David Pasternak. He really got a good eyes on the open shot. He maintained it. Look, right around Vetsilovsky, and he had that one goal right around it. He's doing really well with his offensive run to try to take up and pick up the lead. He's doing really well to keep an eyes on the pressure. For that moment, it will keep it going for the Boston Bruins and a, and a wild bolts attack. And stop by Vizilevsky. Hold the puck here with 18.40 to go in the second period. Centers glide in for the faceoff drop to be popped. Now with the win, McAvoy shot too wide. The breast has it down right towards the corner. Bergeron shot, glove saved by Vizilevsky. Moving the puck around here, we have is Stamkos. Stamkos shot stop again here by Omar. Moving the puck over to McAvoy. McAvoy's into the pound, into the bounding. Taking a shot and a stop the game again by goaltender. The Bolts move around with the puck here. Now Sorelli enters his zone. He moves a Stamkos shot stop made by Linus Omar. Lindholm over to Pasternak. Carlo back to Zacha. Zacha gets caught. Stamkos on a run. Doesn't want to get in control of it by a defender. Hyman with the puck. Good stuff made by the goaltender. Easy come, easy go. That's what everyone really does that one here so far. Here's Zacha with the puck. Lost the puck here and now Paul has it. Up the Stamco shot. Stop again. Ball right towards the corner on the board. Zacha recovers it. Now swings to Krejci. Krejci looking it over. That's the Pasternak's. Off to Bertuzzi. 
Matosi lost the puck. Ball reaching over again, again to Headman. Back to Jeanette. Jeanette into the 2 on 1. Move the side. Oh, what a good stop made by Omar. Matosi looking over again. Finds a Frederick. What a shot. Gets bam down and it's under siege by Veselevsky save. Now it's Colton with the puck. Colton's in the middle. Shot! Stop made by Vesa by a good call of Lita Salmar. Coyle firing the puck around the net. It's Sergeant Jack. Over to Paul. Ball right towards the corner. Looks over to Killorn. Gillard shot, rebound in front, good stop made by Omar. Easy with that play. You know that was going to be almost a good puck to take it away because if it was that tricky, you got to watch out with that one. That's very that difficult. Returnacy back in the neutral the offense zone. Four big six and over. Now it's Gillard with the puck. Gillard moving it over. Switching it, and a stop and going over by Kucherov. Back to point. Orlov takes the puck away. Moves over to McAvoy. Now over again to DeBrusk. The Bolts have their puck right into the Bolts territory. Gillard right over again to the neutral zone in the Bruins territory. Orlov has the puck. Valley for the loose puck on the board. Brad Merchant can't find anybody. Firing the puck around the net. Rebounding is Coil. Now Orlov will take the puck. They're moving the puck back and forth. Marchand with the puck in the corner. Finds Orlov's shot. Stopped by Veselevsky. Pulls it back right towards it. Easy with this play. They really are turning out to be a wide heck of a shot. I have never seen what Veselevsky does, but that was a very close call. Here's Marchand, dirty the other way. Gets rumped down, and it's Orlov with the puck. Now back to Bergeron. Bergeron puck, fires it off. Right in point to Cole. Cole in the corner, finds Perry! What a save by Omar. He's gonna hold the puck here with only 10.36 to go in the second period. With the two guys. This was a tough one to be saying. Let's have a look and see how well that the two cool tenders are, are offended. The best standing by will be OJ. Right now, Lita Solberg is putting up an excellent division gear with the players in the offensive run. They're keeping an eye on the division gear to try to pick up a wild save on this run. Andre Wazilewski and the other guys got in the control of this. He keeps it right towards the offense and putting it right toward in the middle of the mountain. He's wild at that run. Can try to keep the eyes on the puck here and also get a wild save by stopping the defenders and the offenders in the run. It's a tough run to go with the collision between the goaltenders. I'll be watching in between the Levis Allmark and Andre Veselevsky with another biggest save. Back to you guys. Here's Dozak. Inside! Rebound! It's went off again on the pad. Nozak again. That went too close to the goaltender. It's Bogushan back to Headman. Now he lives it over to Maroon. Maroon over to Perry. Perry swings to Bellamar. Bellamar shot. What a stop by Omar. Headman. Maroon on the front. Denied by the goaltender. Bogart to halfway. Boston into the Volt territory. Gets one down. Headman to Maroon. Finding an open bait advantage. Some shot. That hits off the goaltender. Olmark's gonna hold the cover here with the puck. And that was that goes hit off the off the player. And it should be deflected right towards the wall. Yeah, you can call that one here. Very that tough and clear. Linus Olmark is a while to take the X-ray of the vision with the X-rays of the saves. This is a tough one as arranging from a player if an inside of the puck. It's very close call. They're going to need one player to try to hit off the run and do with the attackers. And the shot stopped made by Elias Allmark. Now swing it over again to Pasternak. Right around the man there. That takes over to Bogusan. Now over to Semkos. 
Stamkos right towards the middle. With the straight, fighting Eagle, open room, shot too wide. Easy with that one. Not very well with the shots, not quite enough gaining of momentum. They're not saying that this was a hard impact, but don't let that get out over it. Here's the brusk on the other side. Pass to Zacha. Lost the puck. Lindholm with the puck. Zacha lost it. Here's Colton. Bolts are on the attack. With the move around, Bergeron. Back to Marchand. The Bruins keep their pucks alive into the Bolts territory. Now entering the zone, the brush shot. What a save by Andre Vesilevsky. That save. Colton right back over to Paul. Moving around in the offense zone from the right. To Sergeyev. Short stop made by Omar. And we got a penalty call by Tampa Bay. This will be called a slash A. And that will be Tennant Jeanette. He's in the penalty box. Doesn't like the call. Not so happy with that one. They really are just putting a lot of that holding with the slashes. They should not get over us. Power play on now for the Boston Bruins. This will be a chance to take the lead into the in from the second period. Cole clears the puck out. Here's Pasadox with the puck. Now finding over is Bergeron. Here they come up the wing. Up to Zacha. Shot and stop made by Veselevsky. Coyle right over to get the Pasadox. To Bertuzzi! Oh, that good save made by Veselevsky. He's going to hold the puck here with under five minutes to go. They're in the inch closer to the end of this period. Two teams are in tough matchups. And we are tied. Coyne wins the faceoff. Furbix will try to fire it out. Now here's Pasadox. Over to McAvoy, over to Bertuzzi. In the middle. Two on one attack. That goes off the goal, off the player. So Champ will try to keep it away. Boston's got the puck here as Pasternak gives it over to McAvoy. Moving around the puck, inside. To Sacha. Move around the middle. What a save. With Jersey over into the corner. Battling for the loose puck. There he has it around, cross. Keeps it out of the zone. Looks like he's almost ready to go. Here's Coyle in the neutral zone. Power plays over for the for the Boston Bruins. They got a great stop for the Tampa Bay Bolts to keep it away. Yeah, they're very good on offense. Just tell me, how well do you think you're gonna do? Because this is very that difficult. Nobody has gotten the power play goals to take the lead, but this wasn't the only way that everyone was going for. They've got a lot of it to try to keep it down and then try to keep it away from them. That's the hard part. Don't let anybody try to like take the puck out of you. If you want to like keep it going, then you just got to get right into this. Here's the brusque. Coyle takes the puck away. Now here's Cernax. Cernax to Kucherov. Kucherov's into the corner now. In the middle. Blocked it up by McAvoy. Marchand right over to Bergeron. Takes the puck away. Now back to the Bruins territory for Paul and Point. No penalty call for Boston. He's getting the puck away, says, let go of me. And Russ with the puck. Pass is blocked. Point's got a puck here in a neutral offense zone. Kucherov blocked away. We're down to a minute of play in the second period. It's still tied up. Looking for the lead, but Point has a cross. Point with the puck. Trying to look over the offense run. Scoop of a long avoid by McAvoy. Roll off to Greer. Greer looking it over. Gets bumped down. Bogus on to Hedman. Down to 10 seconds left to play. Hedman's got to get the goal. Kill Lord. Will he do it? And it's out of here. Up in the netting.
Just one quick face off, and before the second period's over. And the Boston will take it over. So that ends the second period. What a great play for the Boston Bruins. They're back and they're not giving up. We'll be right back. This is where it comes down to the final period in game one of round number two. Are you ready? You know I am. And right now we start off with the Bolts. What a stop by Omar. Now let's have a look at how well they did for the second period. They came back. And this is what happens now that they are tied up. How does this really happen for the for the Bruins to try to like smash them out of here for the Bolts there, my friend? Well the point is really that tough ones. I gotta say, this is a rough matchup. They're really like a rival teams that they have ever played. But not really everybody else's opinion. But this was the Golden Court of the Atlantic Coast Division in between the, in between two. There might be the sixth rival matchup that have ever happened here before. But this was all that does happen. Nobody has given up here with a lot of teams. Especially the Montreal Canadiens are definitely the rival teams in this game. They never really caught on at that point. They're definitely not the great team that you're always looking at for the Canadian versus the USA team. But it's very that difficult to not just say that this was too hard to make a call. And it's not very that easy to try to like maintain it across the again towards the goaltender and it's and it's definitely tough enough not to get over this. But they gotta get this one straight away to make it good on the tracks. Bergeron pass is broken up. Now Bobichon right over the back to Hedman to Hegel. Now Sorelli has the puck. Moving across. Orloff's got the puck here now in the offense zone. Zatra gets bumped up by the player. Now Sorelli is up. Oh, go down in endo. Samko's shot saved made by Omar. Pull the puck here with only 17.03 to go in the third period. Both players set for the faceoff. You can feel the energy of the crowd. It is a twos and ties. So rally to Bogashan. Little bumble up here. Stamkos has the puck back. Had been shot. Stop away by the pot save. Satcha. Rolling it over again. Now passes to Kredgy. Kredgy over again to McAvoy. McAvoy in inside. Oh, what a save. And Hagel is right into the offense zone to pick up the seed. Edmonds working their way in to Colton. Here's Colton towards the wing. Fires it. Hegel shot. Good beauty mark. A of all mark save. We'll hold it with only 16.04 to go. Without one for Charlie McAvoy. He has it all stick it up. The motion is not that very that cute. With that one, it's just a tough one to try to keep it inbounding when you're playing on defense. When he sticks the clip puck up, he sticks it up. When the shot stops saved by Vizalevsky. We'll hold the puck here with only under 16 minutes to go. It's a tough matchup. They're still trying to get the lead. Now they're ready to do another faceoff in the offense zone. Paul wins the faceoff. Tampa Bay back into the offense zone to pick up the run. In the attacking zone, McAvoy over and back to Frederick. Here they come, and Coyle has a puck here. Gets bumbled over by Furbix. He now moves over to Paul. Frederick's got the puck here, passing off again and inside out to McAvoy. Pass broken up. A lot of bad passes out there. There he goes down. They're not really passing enough. They have to find someone else to try to look at an open pass. They shouldn't let that happen. They've got to get the, the puck working and try to find with an open contact to get the shots. Leno back over to McAvoy. Over again to Bertuzzi. Back to Frederick. Frederick inside his own. Move around the puck. Stop made by Veselevsky. Veselevsky. And now Cole will have the puck here. In the middle, locked up. Bolivar shot. 
Oh, what a big rebound here for Omar. Bergeron again. Moving around the endo. Short stop made by Veselevsky. Marchand's got the puck here in the corner and fumbled up for the net. Bolivar right towards the right towards the offense zone. Looking for the attackers and good slot save by the goaltender. We're under 13 minutes to go in the third period. Still tied up. Looks like this is a good matchup between the Atlantic Coast Divisions. As right now, we've got the next game coming up. We've got the Colorado Avalanche taking on against the Minnesota Wilds coming up later tonight. I will have Son of Beast along with the ever casting crew by OJ and a crossroad gear for the center ice will be paintbrush. That will be coming up later tonight only on Son of Beast. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, somebody will. Now back into the game. And no penalty call for Tampa Bay. It looks like they're keeping at it here. They don't want to get that one at penalty calls. They want to go stopping over by flying by tricks to tricks. Between that, it's not very that complicated. Omar Colts the puck here with only 11.31 to go. Sorelli passes over to Bogashan with a TB Bolts win. Now it's Lindholm right over to Pasternox. He gives it off to Kreji. Kreji went down in the neutral zone. Ooh, a little bang off here. Ouch. Here's Hagel. Glove save. Whoa, almost lost the puck, but he still holds on. That's what the players can't do. If they wanted to get that deflected, they got to keep it out of here. They got to help Leo Solmark to get over this and help him make the good play for it. That's all that they can do, and they've got to get it straight on the point set. Gilor and Lindholm's got the puck to try to deflect it off the net. Swings around the net. Mokashaw right towards the corner, battling for the loose puck. Evans has the puck here, battling for the loose puck again. Now Greer. Greer right over it again to Lindholm. Lindholm. Finds Greer. Greer back over again. And Point takes it away. Edmund right towards the puck. Looking for room on offense. Passes to Killorn. Shot stopped by Omar. Boston on the attack. Killorn. He takes it away. Move around the man. Stop made by Omar. Oh, Omar. What an unbelievable save. He is that quick. What a stop. Kucherov finds Edmund. Deep pass to point and point. Point gets a little bumbled up as McAvoy gives it over to Coyle. Over to get to Frederick. Frederick has the puck into the neutral zone. Back to Perturzi. Perturzi finds Lindholm. Lindholm pass to McAvoy. Coyle blocked up. Ball's got the puck. Perturzi has one. Save me by Veselevsky. On your eight minutes left to play in the third, they've still tied up. Looking for overtime for the first time in second round. Yeah, it might be that tough, but we'll get to that one later. Ball has the puck. Now Furbix takes it over again to Jeanette. Up into the offense zone, Jeanette. And it takes away by Baturzi. Baturzi finding over Frederick. Frederick fires around the net. Furbix got the puck. Over again to Marchand. Poyle. Boss broken up and it's shot blocked. Sergachev's got the puck here, reaching over inbound to Paul. Here's Jeanette. Ooh, what a good stop. Olaf over again into Brooks. Now finds Merchand. Merchand towards the other way. And right now it goes with a stop and shot blocked. Here's another inbounding. Back into Brusk. Shot scores! It's a deflection score by Brad Merchand. They're all saying this was a good offense to pick up their speed. 
What a help! And now they're in the lead with only 6 of 6 remaining in the third period. What an amazing comeback for the, for the Boston Bruins. They are really well to pick up their run. Stamkos with the puck. Sorelli shot. Pat save. What a good stop by Omar. Hagel bumping up behind the net. McAvoy has the puck. He's going in the zone. McAvoy. Over and again. Veselevsky save. Hold the puck here with only 5 12 remaining in the third period. Now they're ready to do another face off attacking. And they can feel the energy now. It's back to back same scores. Here's Carlo shot. Got the save here by Vasilevsky. Marchan, what a deflection. And the Bruts will recover it. Kucherov's got the puck here, passing the neutral zone into the offensive territory. Here's Point. Point will hold it from here with Omar. We have the call, and it's David Pasternak as OJ stands by. David Pasternak is on one of a one epic goal. He has a snipe ability to try to keep him out. The save is impossible, but don't be mindful of how McAvoy does because he because Pasternak has gotten a good snipe on attack. Mumbled up, Sorelli back to the offense zone. Here's Hagel, shot, pass save, he scores! Stamkos, and they tie the game up. They are never going to leave the game like that. Wow. That Stamkos put it up a rebounding again, and that is what they did. Here's Orlov, and they are been on fire tonight. They are not going anywhere. Shot, and a backhand scores. David Pashenok says their team, they're back up by one. Two goals in the game. They are counting it. What an excellent move. David Pasternak was leaving over with the open man here with a backhand shot. That was a good pass here by Zachov and Orlov. Whenever he gets there in front of it, he goes right towards the deck. He's got it all down there. When this play comes rough, I don't have to agree with anyone. I can just keep it going and try to look for a clean clutch in the slot. It's tough for me to try to inbound it, but embrace yourself, pashnok has got it all. I'll be watching him if he gets his third goal for tonight. Back to you guys. Sirelli and Bogashot has a puck. Evan over to get the Stemkos. Stemkos blocked the shot. Bogashot bubbled away. Bogashot with the puck. Zacha makes it over. Pasternak's over again. Pass goes to Orlov. He bumbled up and Samkos with the puck. Here's the pass to Hagel. Now for Sorelli. Moving inbound. What a big stop here by the pass save. Marchant over into the offense zone. Back to the TB Bolts territory. Edmund has the puck. The Lightnings are putting back in the offense run. And he puts it away and McAvoy has it recovered. He finds Marchand. Marchand into the zone. And the takeaway to Headman. Back to Point. Point leaving it over to Headman. Headman trying to get away from it. Marchand has to puck back. Trying to move it around again. Back in the offense territory. Just about one minute to play in the third period. Hooked away. Headman back over again to Galorn. Fans are on their feet. They're about to get no some noise. Mogishan, the man advantage is on. Goaltender is off. McAvoy, Lindholm, and Coyle will take the puck. Leaving across back to the zone. Stemkos with the puck. 30 seconds. Here's Paul. Quick save by Omar. Wow, they're really saying that. Omar, you've been the best here in game one. Never have to improve everyone. You've done that one a great look. Marchand will swing it. Went too wide. Jeanette over with the puck. Ten seconds left to play in the third period. Move on attacker. Save by Omar. 
5.6 seconds to go in the third period. Just about time to end it up. The first game just keeps on coming down. We are going to love it. And Coyle wins. Lindholm will carry their team with the first win of the night against the Bolts. It is fantastic. All they could say was they are doing really that well. And for that one, they're the best teams in the Atlantic Division. What a win for the Boston Bruins. They had the lead up by 1-0 in the series. We give a congratulations to the Bruins and salute fans. It has been a tremendous night. With all of that being long being said, me for along with Life Ring and OJ, this has been a presentation of the NHL Sailing Cup Playoffs. Thanks for joining with us and have a wonderful day. Now on to Son of Beast. It's all yours. Take care, everyone. Mifo, thank you so much. The final score puts up and mounting with a comeback win of the Boston Bruins. They just keep on going. Now it's time for three star players of the game. Your third star goes out to Jermini Orlov with only two assists and five hits. Second star for David Poshnox. Two goals in the game, but a snappy around the backhand and just got a lead. And your first star of the game goes out to Linus Olmark. He has 51 saves in the game, just proving out that he did it before in the first game. And here's our total combined up with the statistics of the game. 54 shots on goal for Tampa Bay and 38 shots on goal for Boston. 24 hits for Boston and 22 for Tampa Bay. 558 and 638 for each time on attacks, a little bit over by between the rush on the man. There was 93 percentage and 90 percentage here for the passing zones for Boston and Tampa. 22 face-off wins for Tampa and 20 for Boston. A little good range in between. Penalty kill was 4 minutes for Tampa and 2 for Boston. Only a power play goal for Boston and a good range of emotion here for the second period. And power play was 226 for Boston. So that wraps it up with the first game in the second round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Stay tuned, we got the next game and it's the Avalanche at Wilds in Minnesota. I'll be casting here for the for the commentating here for tonight. As right now, Fan will be heading for the pregame show and be ready like he never did before. So with that one, thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports style. Look for more of the NBA playoffs in the second round coming up in just a bit. As for Wednesday, we've got a next matchup here as right now the milwaukee bucks are playing against the cavaliers in milwaukee and following along with the ever game as right now on the other hand friday night will be happening here at 7 p.m it will be the tough and latest inbounding that will be another one to take with the boston and celtics and philadelphia sixers here for the other side of the game but with that being said, thanks for joining with us. See you next time. Adios, everyone. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.